So hi, I am uh, Harold Liavog, uh, an engineer in the People Platform Group, and I'm excited to talk to you today about uh, user profile photos. First, user profile photos are important. They are like ambassadors that represent who we are and influence how others perceive us. They appear in nearly all applications and bring life to experiences. Today, I first want to quickly go over one of the major problems we are going to solve and the role MS Graph is intended to play in solving it. And next, talk about some recent improvements that have been made in MS Graph in the user profile photo space. So there is a number of different photo sources that come into play for a single user. And between some of the sources, there are sync mechanisms as well. On top of that, there are multiple photo APIs in use, which use one or more of the photo sources, even APIs that are documented to have already been deprecated. As a result of multiple APIs being used, there is incoherence. Users sometimes see different photos of themselves and others across multiple experiences in M365, and sometimes even within the same application. Sometimes all photos appear instead of new ones. Other times, old photos appear even when a user or tenant admin has taken actions to remove them. This can even be harmful for the users. As an example, for Adele here, the same photo is seen in Teams, in her Me Control, in Live Persona card and Outlook. But SharePoint shows a different old photo. Such inconsistencies is something Microsoft is dedicated to fix to provide consistent user profile photos within M365. So what does the user profile photo incoherence problem have to do with MS Graph? Well, for those not, MS Graph plays a key role in the strategy to solve user profile photo incoherence. To be the one endpoint to use both for first party applications and third party applications for both enterprise and MSA user profile photos. And when I say MSA, I mean Microsoft Service Accounts, also known as consumer, such as Outlook.com, Hotmail.com. And what are the benefits we'll get? We'll get a single source of truth and coherence. We'll get a unified programming model. Clients get built-in graph functionality for free, such as batching, PowerShell, SDK, and so forth. And we can eventually actually deprecate and take down all the other photo APIs. For those not familiar with the user profile photo endpoint, uh, here is what a typical request look like. These are among the most popular, most frequently used requests made in MS Graph. Now, let's talk about some recent improvements we've made. When it comes to improvements that have been made recently, several of those affect the incoherence problem. There is an ongoing internal campaign to ensure that all internal applications move to MS Graph for photo operations. Already a number of partners have moved and the effort continues. As such, user profile photo incoherence has already been reduced. Another important improvement that affects the goal of moving all photo traffic to MS Graph is that support for MSA user profile photos has been enabled in MS Graph V1. It has been available in beta for a while and multiple improvements have been made, especially when it comes to reducing latency. This means that for the first time, MS Graph V1 supports both enterprise and consumer user profile photos. And obviously, such support is required to have all applications move to MS Graph, also for consumer scenarios. It is worth noting, however, that third-party applications do not have access to the user read-all scope, so supported photo requests for third-party applications are limited to retrieving and updating your own user profile photo. There has also been a few more functional improvements. One such is that we allow uploading larger photos and on retrieval, the default behavior is to return the photo in the uploaded size. As such, clients can get more high definition photos as seen in this example where earlier only a predefined set of photo sizes were available for retrieval and none larger than 648 
by 648. And as you can see here, the height and width is larger. Still, for backward compatibility, we still support retrieval of those predefined photo sizes. Another functional improvement is that e-tags are returned in weak e-tag format rather than strong, as seen with the W slash prefix. Now, weak e-tags indicate that content is semantically the same, not byte for byte identical as strong e-tags. For user profile photo requests, it does make sense that the same weak e-tag is returned no matter what size of the photo is requested, and is only changed when the actual photo content is updated. Related to eTag, another basic functionality improvement is that support has been added for if non match request header. So when used on a get, a 200 status is returned only if it doesn't have an eTag matching the given ones. If eTag matches, a 304 not modified is returned without the actual photo resource, as seen in, in this example. Now, let me just quickly show that you can try this out yourself in Graph Explorer. Here I've logged in on a test tenant enterprise as Adele Vance. And there are three types of photo requests that can be made. One is the me photo value. The two other requests are you, you can either use the ID or you can use the user principal name. Now let's 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 look up another user. Now here is an example of a large photo that was not previously supported. If you only request photo and not value, you can look at the dimensions 692 by 1038. What you can also immediately see is, is the weak E tag. So let's look at it. Ends with 515C. And what happens if I request a smaller photo? Smaller photo is returned while e tag remains the same. Let me also just quickly show the new support for if non match. As expected, we get the 304 not modified. Let me just also show that in this example, I will logged in with the Outlook account. And the behavior seen there is exactly the same. Weak e tags, same support for if non match. And as I mentioned, this is the first time we have support for consumer profile photos on MS Graph V1. So to summarize, Microsoft is dedicated to fix the user profile photo incoherence problem. And we are making heavy investments on MS Graph to fix incoherence and to be the one API to use for user profile photos across M365 for both first party and third party applications for both enterprise and MSA user profile photos. So some next steps. We will continue our efforts to move more partners to MS Graph for retrieving and updating user profile photos. Another thing is that, that we will, it still remains to roll out the recent improvements to MS Graph government cloud environments. But there are further opportunities. We hope that the bet on MS Graph will allow faster innovation through one endpoint and much more improvements in the user profile photo space, including enabling richer self-expression experiences. 
We love to get feedback, GitHub Graph community. Let us know what you look forward to have on Graph related to user profile photos. Thank you. Excellent, really cool stuff, Harald. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So the fact that you can get the resized images directly from Graph is brilliant. Really, really cool.